and welcome back to Little Red Roaming. I am Little Red, your host in this little corner of the internet. And today I'm going to talk about some of the things that I miss when I'm traveling that I didn't really expect to miss. So there's always things that you know you're going to miss. You know, your family, your pets, in my case the crazy birds, which you occasionally hear in the background of my videos. These are basic things that everybody misses when they're traveling and you know you're going to miss these things. What about the things that you don't realize you're going to miss? As a New Englander, I really missed iced coffee. Really missed it. In New England, we all drink our Dunkin' Donuts coffee or our Starbucks coffee, but we love our iced coffee. We drink it year round. Middle of winter, foot of snow on the ground, we're gonna get our iced coffee. <laughs> and it's such, it's a weird thing, but it's so good that it's not common. Most other places of the world do not drink iced coffee as obsessively as we New Englanders do. And I missed it so, so much when I was traveling. And when my friend Avery joined me in Italy, um, and she was only with me for the last two weeks of my, my big trip that I did, she missed it too, and we laughed about this, and we found a place that did iced coffees, and it wasn't comparable, but it held us over. We survived. But that was one of the first things I got when I got home, was an iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. The second thing that I really missed was actually being alone. Which is a funny thing to say because for the most part I traveled as a solo traveler, but this means I was staying in hostels or I was couch surfing. You're never really alone when you do that. Um, there's never any space from other people really. When I, a month into my long-term trip, um, I needed that. I needed some type of alone time because that's when it hit me that I was like, oh my god, I haven't had like space where, you know, no one's going to intrude in, in a month. And that weighs on you and I didn't realize how important that was to me, was to have that kind of peaceful, quiet downtime away from other people. It really, it feels odd saying that I missed being alone when I was traveling by myself. But that is the truth. The next thing that I actually really missed was my car. Public transit in European countries is phenomenal. You can get anywhere, you can get everywhere. I mean, most things when you're in a city are within walking distance, or there's subways and buses that are so efficient and clean, especially by comparison to like if you go to New York City. Ooh. Just being able to get in my car and crank the music up and go for a drive there's this sort of meditative piece to that, and you don't, you don't realize how much you enjoy that until you don't have access to it anymore. It's a good time to reflect. I like that about driving. I do a lot of, I do a lot of my best thinking when I'm driving and listening to music, and I come up with a lot of the ideas for the videos that I do and the blog posts that I write while I'm driving. So another thing I missed when I was traveling uh, that most people wouldn't miss is actually my job. I am a massage therapist. I've been working at the same office for about five years. I love my office. I love my clients. I love my coworkers. I love the work that I do most of all. It's really fulfilling to know that you're helping people manage pain or the stress of their lives and you're actually making an impact on them. It's really just a beautiful job to be working, a beautiful career path to have, and I love it. So to go, you know, months at a time, weeks at a time, not doing that, uh, it made me realize how important that really is to my own happiness, is being able to give that, that work and that gift of my time and my energy to other people. So travel taught me a lot about myself, and, and missing, missing massage was one of those things that I learned about how important massage is to my own happiness. The last thing I'm going to tell you about that I missed is a little bit personal. So when you're sleeping in close quarters with other people, you have to really consider the type of clothing that you're wearing to bed. When you go to shower, in a communal shower that's a couple doors down from the room you're sleeping in, you have to consider that as well, and so you have to bring your outfit with you to the bathroom. There's really no 
private space. The thing that I missed was actually being able to sleep naked, uh, which is... There have been studies that show this is good for your body and whatnot, but I'm just more comfortable that way. I hate sleeping with, like, even socks on. It's just not comfortable for me. But I, you know, you, you suck it up and you deal with it when you're traveling in, you know, yoga pants on a t-shirt. But I really missed it. It's... And even just being able to throw on a bathrobe and go upstairs and take a shower and then throw your bathrobe back on and then go back down to your bedroom and get dressed. For me, that's, like, it's such a simple act and it's such a simple thing, um, but it's part of my morning ritual and getting ready. And to, to have to change that and give that up is, is it's weird. The things that you don't realize in the course of your day that matter to you. And for me, being able to sleep without wearing a t-shirt was one of those things that um, I valued a lot when I got home. I don't have to worry about somebody walking in on me. So those are the unexpected things that I miss when I'm traveling. Thanks again for tuning in to Little Red Roaming. I appreciate the support, guys. If you like what I'm doing, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, drop me a like, maybe a comment if there's something that related to you in this video. Maybe tell me what you've discovered that you missed when you were traveling that you didn't know was important to you or that you didn't realize you were going to miss at all. So if you're interested in following along with me on other avenues, I do have a Snapchat and an Instagram, which I use pretty much daily. I will put both of those in the description box. Feel free to send me an ad on there or follow me. Again, my name is Little Red, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao!